Hey, this is a postcard. Swag? I'm Malawi. The poisonous cloud is really death. I, I could hear mosquitoes screaming. What's up, guys? It's about five o'clock and we're going to the beach. We have to promote a bit the sunny beach. This is one of uh, the best compounds in Shermanshik. The developer is a friend of mine and I always abuse of his parking because here you could park before, but now you cannot park anymore. That's an incredible place. You know, sometimes I really feel blessed for living in Sharm because you're bored, you've got one hour free, you can come in this incredible beach where in Montaza area, bucks can swim. It's really dope, I'm really stoked. Let's go. This hotel here is the Jazz Belvedere. It's a solid hotel, clean, really well kept. I like the architecture, blend of uh, oriental and uh, modern Western design. This is a lovely dog, but it really pulls so much. And I can't, if you guys are like uh, the guy on Sky TV that uh, can teach the dogs, because he pulls in an incredible manner. He's a half Husky, half French Labrador. It's so strong. You see the magic behind me? It feels, you can touch Tiran with a finger. It feels really, really close. And we are in a natural bay. So the waters here are very still. And at sunset, if you like photography, do you see on the water, I don't know if you can see it with the iPhone camera, the reflex of Tiran Island on the water is pink and red. That's why the Red Sea is called Red Sea because all the mountains around are red. And during sunset or sunrise, the reflex of the light bouncing from the mountain to the waters create these uh, incredible colors. This is so dope, guys. This is a kind of oasis in the middle of Sharm el-Sheikh. I don't know how long it will last. And the cool thing is uh, off the beaten path. Not many know about it. Basically in Sharm, you have uh, one big hotel or resort next to the other. Most of the territory has been built upon. But here is one of the few areas where you still have some wilderness road. This is like a free beach. You just have the mountains, the sand, and I'm pro-capitalism, I'm pro-growth, don't get me wrong, but I hope they keep some area like this. For example, when I traveled in Malaysia, in Langkawi, one thing I appreciated is that you had a resort in the middle of the jungle, and then for kilometers, there was no other resort. So you really had a, a contact with nature. That here, for example, you get more in Dahab, but in Sharm el-Sheikh, you, you have the risk of losing it. Apart from the sea, yes, you stay in the resort and you have the sea right in front of you, but uh, I, I, wish, I wish you guys come here. I really wish you guys come here and, see, and experience this. Let me shut up a bit. I want you to, to really feel the moment. water is like a mirror. How are you back, so? That's my definition of cool, you know? That my dog uh, can have a bath here. Let's go. Go on, Bucks. Go. Up, man. Say hello. What's up? Wait, but because somebody's coming. Wait. That was great. Marvelous water. Perfect temperature. Still unbelievable. Man, these guys were whistling, screaming at me to go there because the water are deeper. It feels like the sky is blending with the water. The colors are really leaving me speechless. Are you seeing that from the camera? Hello, guys. Can you see the water? I told you, I YouTube. So he was telling me that he was calling us because here the water are deeper. Look at the colors, guys. It's like an emerald. Unbelievable. Hey, come to Egypt, everybody. 
Mr. Mr. Thank you, man. Beautiful, incredible water. Just look at this. Wow. Yes, here is much deeper. You can really swim. Swag? Back so. My soul is opening, it's exploding. Freedom all around, the sand, the mountains, the sea. Tanta roba. Al bacio. You see that white cloud? That's kind of poison they put in the hotels against uh, mosquitoes. And you'll find uh, a slew of mosquitoes anyway, but uh, without that it will be worse, so. Yeah. Problems, problems. In holiday, mosquitoes. Wow. We are now in the toxic cloud. It's disgusting. Can't breathe. Basically, I can't reach my car as of now because the poisonous cloud is really death. I, I could hear mosquitoes screaming. So heavy. And it went everywhere. It didn't really have to end like this. I hope they don't have mosquitoes, I just... <laughs> Let's climb these rocks, see if we can reach it from another way. Bax, the dog running to freedom. Hey, this is a postcard. And it takes you a picture, follow on Instagram. Look at this huge valley. They probably gonna build an hotel here, I guess. They're preparing already. This is gonna be huge. Cheer, bro. Let's go, Max. You gotta go that way. Ooh. Gorgeous, the Belvedere at night. Oh. Charm colors. Much better than the uh, colors of Benetton. Charm colors. Oh. Most of the lights uh, in the windows of the Belvedere rooms are shut off. And I'm wondering, because sometimes I'm contacting a hotel, I'm like, hey guys, can you make me a discount? I want to uh, review your hotel. And they're like, no discount, high occupancy. And then all the rooms are, well, there is people, don't get me wrong, I'm working, we're working much better than a year ago. But not that 100% of the rooms are taken. Like, I wanted to review the Novo Hotel, okay? I went to the guys to speak, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I booked a room, but I booked a room uh, you know, here the hotel, they have half extension on the beach and half extension on the other side of the road. So you don't, have, uh, you don't have a sea view, you have to cross the street to get to the sea. And I, I was like, you know, I booked one of the cheaper rooms. Can you just upgrade, upgrade me to a beach room, to a sea view room, so I can do a better service for your hotel and a more entertaining video for you guys, because when you have a room with a sea view, it's always nice. And they're like, no, we cannot upgrade it. You have to pay for that. Okay, okay, I know I'm not a big star. I don't want to have it for free, but guys, you know how many people I meet from all over the world that tell me, oh my, thanks for your video. So, it's free marketing for the hotel. I even mentioned the Novo Hotel as the best hotel in our way, which I think it is, and that's why I want to share it with you. But it's just, uh, I don't know, it's kind of annoying. Don't feel fully appreciated. Well, that's it for the rant. We're close to the street. I actually called Bax and he came. Good job, Bax. This is the sunny beach. This is one of the coolest compound in Sharm el Sheikh because you have this view and you can use that beach. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is one of the greatest area. I mean, where there are no tourists, you know? Think about coming here with your girlfriend, with your boyfriend, doing some picture. You've seen it yourself. Incredible views, incredible place. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video, this kind of vlog. And if you come in here uh, to take some picture, please uh, tag us, Egypt Made Easy, on Instagram. It will be really cool. Until next time, Egypt was made easy again.